Grade 4 math number 3. Place value to millions. We've been talking about place values, and that's what 1 million looks like. It's a 1 with 6 zeros. There are 7 place values and 6 zeros. There's a comma. See the commas? Every three places we move to the left. We continue placing commas after every three digits, and these commas help us read very large numbers. Now in Europe, they don't always put commas like they do in England, in the UK, or like we do here in the United States. But it is easier for the eyes to see the place value when there's a comma there. It just depends on your preference. Personally, I grew up with commas, and I like commas. So this is 100,000. It's a little harder for me to read when the comma's not there. So let's take a look at a place value chart. We've got our ones, tens, and hundreds. Then we get into the thousands. There's three rows of thousands. There's the one thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands. Just like there's ones, tens, and hundreds here, we have ones, tens, and hundreds here. And it does that for every place value that we go to the left. So here's the one millions. Of course there would be ten millions and hundred millions after it. But we're stopping at one millions here for fourth grade. The value of a digit depends on its place value position in the number. So this one million is one little digit bigger than 999,999. If you added one more to this number, it would become one million. Each one of these place values is ten times bigger as we move to the left. Ten times the ones place puts you in the tens place. Ten times the tens place puts you in the hundreds place. And ten times that puts you in the thousands place. Ten times that puts you in ten thousands. Ten times that puts you in hundred thousands. And then ten times that puts you into the millions. And it keeps going. You multiply it by ten. Right here, we have one little cube. Just one. One cube, like an ice cube, or a cube of sugar, or one little block. If you have ten of them together, it makes what's called a long. And that's ten. It's a bar. It's a long of ten. If you were to put ten of these and squish them together, you'd get one of these. That's a flat. There's ten of these guys right here smushed next to each other. See it? If you were to get ten of these and stack them all in front of each other, you'd have a cube, and there would be a thousand in here. A thousand of these little one cubes are in this big block cube. Each one of these flats is a hundred, and if you get ten of them, you get a thousand. See, times ten? So ten of these hundreds make a thousand. Did you know that a thousand of these cubes makes a million? That's a lot of cubes. So, let's take a look at what number comes next. When we're counting and we say 97, 98, 99, the next number is 100. When we're counting and we say 997, 998, 999, the next number is 1000. Here we've got 9,997, 9,998, 9,999, and the very next number would be 10,000. That's just adding one more. See, each time we added just one more. How about here? 99,998, 99,999, 100,000. See how this is a 99 and it turned into 100? How about here? 999,998, 999,999, 1 million is the next number. One digit more turns it into a million. 
a million is quite a big number. That's why people are happy when they have a million dollars. That is place value to millions. And I'll see you next video. Bye.